So hi everybody, Craig Hansen. Guys, welcome to my video. Something in this video for everyone as we look at what style of swing are you best suited to? And then later on the video, we're looking at draws and fades and what the hands and wrists do. Guys, McElroy's made his swing a little bit more compact. He's put it back into the positions where it was earlier on in his career. And uh, he's hitting the ball really, really good and hitting it a mile. And we're going to have a look at a couple of great ball strikers here with more compact positions at the top. Are you more suited to that? And then we're going to have a look at a, a swing or two with a higher lead arm position. Is that better? Are you better off in that type of position? And I'm going to show you how to get a gauge on that. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. There's so many videos coming your way. Subscribe and hit that bell and uh, we'll get you on the track to playing better golf. Now, when we get up to the top of the swing here, We'll draw a line, and if you've seen some of my other videos, we look at you know lines and angles. Have a look at this 40 degree lead arm position, and you know a little bit around 12 months ago, or so we're seeing it up around 50 degrees, so a lot higher. And this position here, you know, I really believe it's the position where he can get his arms to sort of collect with his body and get his timing right. I think we're going to see some fantastic results uh, coming up from Rory McIlroy. Now. When we're looking at really, you know, great ball strikers that have low lead arm positions, there's many of them. But the question is, you know, what's actually happening and, and you know, why? Which one are you more suited to? What actually happens, you know, when you're looking at averages of movement, and this is a thing that people, you know, really need to sort of get in there and educate themselves with some, you know, lines and angles. And, and World Class Golf Instruction is joining forces with V1 Golf. So you guys will be able to get in there and say, have a look at that. It's 42 degrees. So the shoulder plane is 39 to 45 degrees. That's the two average. That's a fact. You know, so if you get on the system, you can get in there and say, okay, well, how far away am I from some of these averages? You know, so, you know, V1, golf, best training app in the world, and you can get on world-class golf instruction. And really that get in there and educate yourself with technique. Now, when we're looking at this lead arm position here, you're going to be seeing... Lee West, we're around 39, 40 degrees. So this lead arm position is actually lower than the original sharp plane. Now, why is he doing that? Why is that elbow already on, you know, this this original sharp plane? Well, really what we're trying to do at the end of the day is bring this club in to be, you know, level with the hands or slightly behind the hands. You know, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to bring this club in and put it in the slot position. Now, whether or not you swing up high, you swing up low, you know, that's what I'm going to show you, but that's what you're trying to do. So by looking at millions of people coming in steep, a lot of these players are better off with a lower lead arm position because when we have a look at both these players here, when they're coming down, their trail arm, the right arm, is actually higher than the left. All right, you see that? Now, they've got fantastic wrist alignments and lag and things, so there are, there's different components how we shallow something out. There's not just one. But if you're having a look at McElroy, he's also that right arm's up quite high into here. Now, for these type of players, they often have better success when the lead arm's lower. If you were going to lift up this lead arm even to Westwood, if he's going to put it up here, you know, he'd probably come in steep, even with his skill level. So that's why he's more suited. Now, when you're getting your shoulder planes correct, people, you're getting this left shoulder down, you're getting this right shoulder up, you can, they're going to reverse themselves on the way down. So that's much easier to shallow out your plane. You've got to get in there and understand your technique. Anyone can just draw a line up the shaft. Right, so very important to understand what's happening. We're trying to get this club to come in behind the hands. And then, of course, on the other side, people, you know, when we're looking at shoulder planes and movement, we can get in there and have a look at the averages when the arms are around parallel. You were seeing a lot of these plays every single time around mid-50s to the 60-degree area, and that's just a fact. All right? you really, When you're looking at the best ball strikers in the world, it makes sense to get in there and improve positions and copy them. Now, someone like Adam Scott, of course, you know, he's got a very neutral style swing. Some say the best in the world. And when we're getting up at the top of the swing with this motion here, you're going to be seeing the lead arm, it's up a bit higher. All right, now you'll see swings even higher than that. So you're seeing this one up around 50 degrees. You're going to see some swings up by up around 60. But what actually happens? How come he's up there? Well, when you see him come down, watch this. You'll see that when the arms are around parallel, again, look at this right elbow comes underneath. So that's his style. That's a style of swing. I don't know for players that have this style of swing with the right elbow coming in underneath, a lot of the time you can see that they'll, they'll swing up a little bit higher. Now, there's something to look at here for, for a lot of people. Now, we have millions of people coming in steep. 
Really, and we need to have a look at you know the reasons why and the components why. That's you know, world class golf instruction. We've got a style of swing, and I have to mention it's called deep to shallow, and that feedback has been absolutely overwhelming. It's an easier way to play golf where we take you through shoulder planes, wrist alignments, and lead arm positions, I'm making it a little bit easier for the general public who haven't perhaps played junior golf and have all the time in the world and maybe the skill level to you know swing up high and still slot it. So check that one out. So guys, very interesting area when we're looking at the lead arm position, the numbers and the averages of movement. It's going to have a lot to do where this right elbow really comes down and uh, this position here. Okay, so if you're filming your own swings, you know something for you guys really to notice. Now when you're looking at fades and you're looking at draws and we're looking at the different right hand positions, this is also a very interesting one. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. Join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction. I'm going to take you through a couple of little positions here and I think we can all relate to these, uh, these, these uh, feels or these, these visual pictures when we're looking at a draw. Now on a draw swing, basic thought, taking the club away, get that palm of that right hand to point away from you. Now if he was going to that top hand's the right hand, if you're going to open up that right hand, that right hand, that palm is pointed away from him. Now through the ball, when you're trying to hit a ball from right to left and swing the ball down in this direction here, what we're going to see is through the golf ball here, we're going to be seeing the right hand is pointed away. Have a look at the club face first off here. All right, see how that face is pointing down. You can mimic these positions. Just swing through, put the club head in that position, swing back up and feel what the hands and the wrists do. But when you go a little bit further into the swing here, that right hand, if you took that bottom hand off and opened up that right hand, that right palm is pointed away from him. Okay? It's very important to notice. The swinging back, you've got the right hand pointed away from you here. And swinging through, you've got the right hand pointed away from you here. Now, if you're trying to draw the ball, for a lot of people, that's fantastic. Now, you see the hold-off punch sort of stock shot. A lot of these pros are using to hit it in the middle of the green all day long. You see that club face here. It's really an anti-left shot. And you can see the club face is in a completely different position. It's pointed more up. Now, when he swings back into here, that right palm is pointed more back towards us. Okay, so if he was to open up that top hand now, that right hand's pointed in a different position. Now, it's just a basic feel, but it's something that we can all relate to out on the golf course because we need sometimes these easy thoughts and feels. It's great to use technique. It's great to build a swing. But on the golf course, really, the dominating thought needs to be the golf ball, and we need to play golf. We're not playing golf swings. So, guys, a couple of basic feels and thoughts for you. Have a look. If you're looking at online lessons, Check out Craig Hansen Golf. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that button. Please hit the bell. Plenty of videos coming your way. And world-class golf instruction, the V1 system. And uh, really, it's uh, taking off the platform and uh, helping so many people play better golf. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we'll see you next time.